Killer J here. And uh, this is Phantom. And today we're going to do some Final Fight Free. Oh, yeah, some serious squawking action here, guys. It's like Arcady is frig. Yeah. This one was released on the SNES, and it was on our, another title in the Japanese version, Final Fight Tough, actually. It was one of the good sequels, actually, a really good sequel to the second one, actually. Yeah, I never really played uh, Final Fight, uh, any of the newer ones. I played a pretty good one. It was Final. It was a Final Fight Five, and it was a project that was undertaken as a free little indie game on PC. And I played uh, the XBLA ones, of course, which are pretty good. Uh, I think it has. It's very. Uh, it's very uh, condens condens uh, condensed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this review is for you, Fast and Furious 450. And then is a requested review. Uh, yeah, and um, uh, this game really holds up tight nowadays. It's actually a very good uh, arcadey fighter, kind of a brawler, brawler if you say. It says uh, you just go around punching the crap out of stuff. It's really <laughs> the whole purpose of the game. It's kind of, it's kind of funny that even in a game where the whole whole purpose of the game is just going punching guys, is that sometimes it doesn't feel very fluid, and uh, that you can tell that it's not it's not really connecting with the enemy very much. I mean, it's an older game, so you expect that. Yeah. The, the new characters you get to play as Lucia and Dean. Guy and Hagar are reprisal roles from the Final Fights games. No Cody biz. Let's go. Guy is much. Guy's cool because he does this roundhouse kick. It's pretty. It's a nice spin kick. That's pretty cool. I have to say about that. Yeah, he's cool. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know any of the attacks. I just whenever I play any Final Fight game, it's literally just mash the crap out of the buttons. Because that is the only way you'll get through a level without losing health. <laughs> That's what I've learned. Yeah. Uh, controls? Well, they're pretty good. You know how you know how you do it. It's pretty good, straightforward stuff. You mash, you do the punch button, you do the kick button, and you can pick up weapons in this game, which is pretty good. That's all like that. You can pick up weapons out there, but also it's a very good. If this is a very good game for the Super Nintendo, actually, this is really a good title to pick up for the Super Nintendo. You like beat ups in general, so I recommend picking this one up for you. Uh, yeah, um, uh, it's most beat em ups or brawlers or fighters or any any game that's just a, sc a scrolling fighting game is pretty much the same as this. But this was really polished, especially for the SNES. Uh, it's got some really it's got some well really decent graphics. It definitely brings back the arcade feel and uh, kind of the effects you'd get out of a cabinet machine. And uh, the controls definitely show with that. You can tell like the quick jabbing punches and the way the guy picks up the enemies and you can toss them and shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, so. Uh, sound and audio is pretty good. I like the sound and audio. The sound effects, the punch effects, the... It's very, got some very good music actually. I like the music. I like the tracks. The track of this level is pretty catchy. Very good catchy. Gets you pumped and ready for the battle. Graphics, they're good, so. Yeah, the, uh, I actually have to agree with the audio completely, because even though I never played the Final Fight games all that much, I actually used to have the Final Fight soundtrack, and I listened to that all the time on my iPod. It was pretty good and a uh, really cool track to listen to when you're playing other fighting games, like Tekken or something, just to pump you up for it. So, yeah. Right, squawk. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, uh, very well, it's very fun, two to fun. Very addicting gameplay, satisfying gameplay, and you have to fight different different bosses in each level, which is like a it's a it's a this game was made by Capcom. They were a good company, but they're kind of they're iffy nowadays. So that's what I think about Capcom. Make some good, make a good game once in a while, but most of the time they make a shit game. Resident Evil 6, and uh, that's that. Okay, well as long as we're talking about Capcom. I don't think they've gone as bad as most people say. I still find Resident Evil 6, what, compared to if you compare it to the other Resident Evils, it's not the best. But if you compare it to any game that came out in general around that season, it was a pretty good game for the season. And uh, it was good, a really good piece of Res story. Capcom itself likes to stick to the same molds because they don't really like to go, go it on a limb with games. And that's how you can tell with this. Is pretty much pulling elements of existing games. I mean, the guy pretty much just a Street Fighter clone. If you look at him, yeah. they all look the same. Just and generic, really muscly guy. <laughs> yeah, basically. And time, you got Taiwan, but you can do lots of things there. Pick up weapons. You, you even got a glass. You even got shades to make you look cooler. 
basically all you get if you want if you want a good title like I said pick it up for the Super Nintendo hey this is a very fun game addicting gameplay very fat very fighting corresponding action the music's good the audio is good the presentation of this game is very presents itself very well so I like the presentation here I like the backgrounds and the details they put on the characters yeah, this game is certainly easy to get into. It presents itself uh, quite readily. Most people who've never even played fighting games before can simply pick this up and get right into it. Easy controls, uh, easy gameplay, it's pretty fun. It's uh, somewhat addictive. It's kind of a turn off. The death. I don't know if you're playing it. If you're playing the actual version of the game with limited lives, like an arcade style, you probably get pissed off pretty easily at how easy you die in this game. But if you're playing it on a home console or through an emulator, even. Uh, you'd find it to be a pretty addicting game and an uh, easy thing to pick up and play. Yeah. The arcade machines back then, arcades were popular. A lot of games are arcade. So, the, you know what they should do? I think they should re release this game. On, uh, uh, on part of, I think, yeah, they actually might have released this game on the virtual console on a Nintendo Wii, actually. Uh, they're probably going to release it on the Wii U sometime soon in the near future, which will be good. A good little beat em up game on the go. Played on the tablet and that there, but that's that. Yeah, I'm also pretty sure there's Final Fight on the uh, Xbox Live Arcade. And also a little shout out to uh, Mr. Jess, Ryan Jess there, if he ever sees this. I know that your arcade cabinets can uh, have almost any game put on them, so if you could put Final Fight on one of your cabinets, that'd be pretty cool, man. Yep. Squawk. Okay. Yeah, the, thank you. Uh, Retrologist, uh, we'll uh, may, might do a little. Uh, cameo for you later on for your episode because you're working on it you might make a little appearance there so that's that and for my rating I'd give this game a 9 9.5 I give this game a solid 8 it's pretty good it's not the best thing you'll ever play uh, but it's certainly a great game and it's worthy of a buy it's, yeah if you have lots of spare money lying around and you're a collector I definitely recommend putting this one in your collection if you don't have it yet yeah so uh, this is RMG. See you guys later, and there's gonna be more videos coming. And that's our dog. That's my dogs being barking loud. Yes, his dogs are very noisy. So are mine. What is that with dogs? You love them, and then they're just freaking noisy for no reason. <laughs> Crazy bastards. Yeah. So uh, enjoy this review, Fast and Furious 450. Uh, we'll do more requested reviews as soon as possible. So bye bye.